the Girls Dream Big's video blog series featuring amazing women and their stories. I'm Stacey Tobman, founder and CEO, and I'm just thrilled to have our guest today, Jocelyn Seagrave, who is an actress, writer, incredible mother, and so many other things. I hope that you walk away feeling inspired and encouraged to dream big. I know for me, having these opportunities is what has given me the courage to keep going. Because I'm going to tell you, when you dream big, you'll have moments where you're like, what am I thinking? Or you'll want to give up. But then, you know, when I sat down to have coffee with Jocelyn, I was like, how did I get so lucky to be able to meet with you? And then by the end, she was wanting to help me and has been a huge help since then. So I hope you remember that when you're having a moment and thinking about quitting because there's so many women like Jocelyn and she's been a game changer for me. So thank you. Oh, thank you for having me. And I really do support what you do. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Well, let us begin. I want to start by asking you, how are you a girl dreaming big? Well, I think, you know, like a lot of girls, when I was in high school, I thought someday I'm going to be, you know, on TV and someday. And then, you know, I ended up actually thinking after college that I really needed to try it. And I had enough support, um, you know, from my parents to go out to Mm -hmm. L.A. And I was lucky enough to get a job on a soap opera and and be an actress for the next 20 years. So I I think a lot of it was luck, but I also got encouragement Mm -hmm. from places and I, I just went with it. I thought... Well, if somebody else can do it, I can. <laughs> is that what gave you the courage to dream big? The people? Or what well, did give you the courage? You know, I think some of it was ego, I have to say. Yeah? I feel like part of it was wanting to prove something to people, which isn't necessarily the best motivation. I think it can get, get you started. I agree. But ultimately, it can't sustain you. You have to find something that you love about it because the goals aren't enough. Because then when you achieve a goal, it's mm-hmm. like, okay, well, that's not enough because then there's a higher goal, you know? <laughs> right. Absolutely. Yeah. What advice would you give your younger self? Is that the advice you'd give yourself to? Well, definitely I would say um, to to make the goals more Mm long-term. I thought about the fact that for for many years I was trying to get, you know, just two lines on a show and then a guest star on a show and then a series. And Mm -hmm. every time I accomplished one of those goals, um, you know, like I said, it kind of, you know, it felt like I was minimizing it and then I'd expect to do more, which, you know, is great because it keeps driving you. But... I realized that I was chasing this um, validation from the industry. I wanted them to prove that I was worthy of being hired, as opposed to thinking, what do I want to say? And if I had thought along those lines, I think I would have spent those 10 years making my own film and writing and producing and acting in my own film. So is that something you're pursuing now? Well, it's interesting. <laughs> I, I am writing now full time, but I'm working on a novel, and it's um, I'm trying to get it published. And I'm so I feel so lucky to do it. But I do dream big, and I think about the film version for sure. Oh, okay. I don't know that I would direct it. But. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. And I think it's awesome to uh, to celebrate our successes and talk about our wins. But I think it's just as important to talk about the times we've struggled because I think so rarely we share that, and and that's really part of the journey is our struggles. So yeah. can you think of it? any time that you kind of struggled and yeah well as an actress you're always comparing yourself to other people and it's it's rough um growing up I in high school I struggled socially and emotionally too and I never would have been the likeliest person to end up you know in in a tv career um and that didn't really come together till till the end of college or you know so I think what's one thing that's really important is I try as hard as I can not to compare my insides to other people's outsides. Oh, that's so, so good. It's so easy to look at other people and say, oh my God, they have it together and it's all perfect. And I feel like I'm not like that. Right, so my right. insides don't feel like they match that. But the truth is, now that I've gotten to know so many other actresses, <laughs> Absolutely. I know that it's not true and everybody is struggling. Oh. And if they're not struggling now, they, they will be struggling at another time. And... So just to have compassion for that and compassion for yourself and know that you don't have to be there, Mm -hmm. you know, you just have to chip away. Yeah, and I think that's such a great message. That comparison piece, I think Brene Brown says it's the thief of joy. You know, it's hard to really uh, own how we're feeling and feel great when we're comparing ourselves to somebody two steps ahead of us. So I really appreciate you sharing that. Yeah. Talking about struggle still, can you think about a time in, you know, in Hollywood or when you were an actress where, like, being a woman kind of didn't... That was tough. You know, it's hard because women have a certain privilege because, you know, they're sort of revered for their looks and, 
and um, their image, but they're not really listened to. And my fear is that the stories that women uh, want to tell are not being told. You know, we still have only like 19% producers terrible. and directors in yeah. Hollywood who are women, which is crazy. Um, and I was thinking about how much that affects how we all see the world. Mm -hmm. Because my daughter, when she was eight, was saying to me, um, what came before the first man? You know, we were talking about the presidents or something. Huh. What came before the first man? And I said, well, what makes you think it was a man that came first? Yeah, you know? exactly. I mean, this wasn't anything religious. <laughs> it was just like, and she, she thought about it and she said, because I see all the statues. So she only sees statues of famous men. And you yeah, know, I would never have thought about that. That's such a great yeah. point. The fact is that, you know, that kind of seeps mm -hmm. into your brain. And so I really try to look for those opportunities to okay. turn things over and, and say, is that really how it needs to be? I, I don't think so. I mean, I, I value men and women. Of I think course. everybody has something to offer, but I see women having a lot more to offer than is really being heard. And I think it's time to change that. Yeah. Yeah. So Jocelyn, what are your dreams today? Well, I think, um, you know, I'm still working on the book and I'm still really pursuing that dream of getting my novel published, but today I focus a lot more on thinking about how to empower girls like my daughters. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love what you're doing with oh, Girls Dreaming you. Big. I think it's so important and I think um, there's so much opportunity mm -hmm. to expand the amount of influence that girls and women have and the stories that they tell. and. I just would like to see that happen. And so I'm, you know, I'm trying to do that with various projects yeah. and through my work. And I think it's things like this. I think yeah. we don't share enough about our story. I think women coming together, just this collective energy and can accomplish huge things. And Absolutely. the more we tell our story, the more girls can relate and say, she's not that different from me. Yeah. If she was able to be a really successful actress in Hollywood, I can too. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. Well, but the thing is that, you know, it's, it's important about coming together because I think that's where the power is. And mm -hmm. a lot of times girls and women, you know, tend to feel like, you know, like you're saying, with the judgment that they're they're the other and right. it's like we're all the same and we can all help each other oh I love that women helping women is what yeah. I always say and I found that you have been so helpful so thank you again for coming thank today you. we've loved having you My sharing pleasure. your story and uh, feel free to follow us on Girls Dream Big's Facebook Twitter or Instagram thank you so much